All right, so today is a very exciting day because we got a package and we love packages. And this is for a specific car that a lot of you will be very, very excited to see again. All right, so I'm not gonna take everything out of the package because we need to bring this with us, but I'll show you at least that much. It's cool and hoses. And more specifically, this is Mark II eight valve coolant hoses. If that kind of leads where this is a uh, where this is all going. So, little backstory. If you guys remember, which of course you do. The funny thing is, I could literally go like drive a Bugatti Veyron 250 plus miles an hour and make a video about it, and someone would still comment, "Where's the Mark II?" It's, <laughs> and it's hilarious to me because like the Mark II's been in the same spot that it's been. And if you're part of the Patreon, you know all the updates. If you're not part of the Patreon, then you're kind of just like, where's the Mark II? And it, it's still, it's fine. The Mark II is completely fine. And we're gonna go see it today in a little bit. But backstory, as I parked the car at Derek's house when we were moving, um, one of the coolant hoses actually blew up. So the car's been sitting there chilling. It's fine, it's not sold, it's not anything. It's just literally been in one spot this entire time. But I got the entire silicone hose set from tuning. Granted, they are red. I wanted this to normal black silicone ones, but they're out of stock. These are available and red adds horsepower. So we went with the full set. The funny thing is I had a whole bunch of points saved up on your train.com because I mean, I buy some of them all the time. I had a discount code and I got this entire seven piece set for $26. Now from Continental, this the one coat and hose I needed to fix the car was $29. So I got all of them, the entire thing for less than what well, one would have cost me. So huge score there. Massive shout out to your training for always having everything I need, literally. So we can go ahead and swap out all the coolant hoses stay in the car because they're all 35 years old. One blew up on me. The rest look fine, but again, I don't trust them now. So we're gonna go ahead and swap all of them with silicone hoses and be good to go. So for everyone who's always like, where's the Mark II? Where's the Mark II? Where's the Mark II? This is the video for you. Good old Mark II, just been chilling. So got the hood popped already, pulled the battery out, put it on a charger. I had it disconnected, but it was down a little bit. So it wasn't like terrible. The car probably still would have started, but gonna get the battery charged while I do the coolant hoses. I don't know if I'll do all seven. I think the heater cores are included as well. Um, and some of the lower ones are a pain, but we have the one main one that broke to fix and I'll do the upper rad hose, the lower rad hose. There's only seven total in general. So hopefully it'll take too long, but uh, it was nice. Missed the little mark too. We're looking in here. This is the culprit right there that straight exploded. It made a mess all the driveway. So that's the only one to replace, but the rest of these are 35 years old, so I don't trust these ones anymore. So we're gonna replace all of them. So upper, lower is the crosser one down there. From this neck down to the water pump. We have a couple like this one here. And then two for the heater core. I think that's everything. Yeah, it's a seven piece set. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that will be everything. And we're going from the uh, OEM black to race car red. Or at least another 50, 60 wheels just in this bag alone.
bit of fighting later, the one that actually failed, it's where it split, right there is back out. I forgot how annoying these, like this seems like an ABA where the weapon's in the bottom. This one coolant hose go from here down to there and there's actually two more below it. They're quite a pain to get to. But we got this one out and you can see where we went to this one. This one? Yeah. This is what it will be. Let it go to the top neck down to the bottom. And we have this little tiny one that's gonna go there and lower below that, which will be fun to get to. I'll probably go to the car and go from there, but there's actually a tool that actually clamps these. Actually, I probably should get it, honestly. That makes at least clamping these much easier. I need the hose actually off of the uh, the neck there. It's still a pain. But upper's off, this one's off. And now I'll work way down to the lower and that'll connect her and hopefully they don't fight me too much. So six of these seven coolant hoses are out. This is the heater core, the other heater core, upper rad, the broken one, the lower piece actually cut in half. And then we have just that one left to get, but I need a jack. We'll have to get out of the car and go from the bottom side up because where the clamp actually is facing, it's facing the bottom side, which is my fault because I did the water pump before and I faced it that way. But once that one's out, that's all of them. And then it's simply just putting the new ones back in and we are should be good to go all right well well almost i got coolant in my mouth but aside from oh. the taste of coolant <laughs> we got the uh wherever it went to somewhere oh it's no, actually it's, still, it's in still in there actually yeah the lower hose is gone which is an absolute pain to get to but there's that so now all seven original ones are out and now we can go through and toss all the new ones back in which should be hopefully easier and then we'll fill it up and check for leaks and if we're good we are on our way we are making solid progress and actually the red's not as obnoxious as i thought it was going to be i don't hate it but pro tip which i actually forgot when i was taking them apart this one down there a little crossover from left to right actually the red makes it so bright and really easy to see kind of like that um the crossover from left to right there over to right this meets a hard line over here which is this one that crosses around up to this one if you unbolt it right there and right under here where it actually locks it in place you actually move the entire line this way giving you enough room to actually put the hose back on because that one down there is an actual pain to maneuver and like, i cut it the first time taking it out i cut down the middle and pulled both halves off but the new one obviously can't cut in half but yeah there's a 10 right here 10 right there move the entire hard line up and over and you have enough room to actually get the one in there all right she's officially race car red all over like i said it's not as obnoxious as i thought it was gonna be and it's really nice to be able to see where the lines go because they're super bright now. But everything's on, tightened down, good to go. We're going to fill it up, let it run, check for leaks. And if she's good, take it for a rip. 19.22. No. Battery is back in. I hope it starts. It should. Now we gotta check for leaks. And if not, we're good. Promising. <laughs> Why well, you're backing up? <laughs> it's just cooling hoses. <laughs> don't, don't, don't wish it on me. All right, let's see. At least you just walk. Come on. Give her a second. Let her get her primed back up. Oh, 
my battery's fading. Come on. That should be feeling the car, right? All right. Feel? Feel the car? Oh, it's moving. There's, an, there's enough fuel. All right, come on. Oh, that sounds good. Do it. We're, we're going to get there. She just needs a minute. Up, up, up. Up. She just... She just yeah, needs a, just a couple minutes. Really, really, I think I just yeah, I just gotta push the fuel through. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're just gonna keep on. She's gonna do it. Yeah. Oh, oh do, we, do, we, do we do a die? All right, I think the battery might need some more juice to it. Maybe I'll actually jump it, but. It's close. Just gonna. Is that a jump pack also? Uh, no. no, just a charger. We're close. It's cranking. Sounds fine. Probably gotta build up pressure. It's been sitting for. I think it's been. How long has it been here? Like five months, I think. Five months. About five months. Yeah. So she's been sitting for a minute, but she's fine. It's, the crank wire sounds good. It just needs a little bit more uh, fuel pressure. Sounds like, but we'll get it going. Right. This is bad gas. A little bit of 93 if you just want, huh? Right? <laughs> just throw it in there and get a kickstart. Oh, that's not what I want to do anymore. And I turned the camera off for a second. It's fine. Just needed a couple, 10 or so tries. I don't see any leaks, so that's a good start. Quiet down. Ah, see you better. So the tick will quiet down. We'll let it run 10 or so minutes. Make sure there's no leaks. We'll pop it back off and we'll be on our way. I'll check back in in 10 or so minutes and we'll see where we're at. But so far, looking pretty good. All right, update. Coolant temp holding perfectly. No lights on the dash. The idle is back to being. You guys remember, this car is an absolute trooper. This thing runs so, so good. It took a minute to get started, but it also sat for like five and a half months. So it is what it is. But again, coolant temp holding perfectly. We got a nice smooth idle up here. Got them race car red hoses. There's no leaks down here at all, which is super nice. So I think we are good to go. And for my uh, my homemade exhaust, remember that. She sounds pretty good. Absolute race car. this thing love this thing 300 bucks bought it behind an apartment complex in mandan in north dakota here she is she still needs some stuff but we got coolers on her got some wheels on her got a half exhaust 
new coolant hoses, water pump's been done. We did the full manual stop on the car, so it's Mark III 0 five speed. Got the good unit right here, no more automatic trash. I have a spare Mark II parts car, so I have to go through and swap the windshield because it's cracked, but she's just a cruiser. This thing is the absolute cruiser. All right, she's ready to ride. We're gonna go to the gas station so I can put a little bit of air in the tires. Other than that, oh, what a beauty she is. Absolute cruiser. I love this thing. Good car. Double check under here. I don't smell any coolant. I don't smell any burning oil, surprisingly enough, for being an old Volkswagen. Everything looks to be just as it should. And that's what we like to see. Not bad. Make sure down here we're good. I don't see any, uh. Nope. Looking good. Got them race car red cone hose now. You know, this thing we had maybe 50 horsepower, now triple. This thing's making like 500 wheel now, no problem. It's all about the red, you know? Good, very good. So, for everyone who's been asking, where is the Mark II? Where's the Mark II? The Mark II is officially back of the house for right now. Coolant hoses are fixed, good to go. And yeah, I have a few things I want to do to the car. Like I have, I have the headers, I have the full exhaust of that car, but I just don't want to do the work to put these on. Because on that car, the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold are both on the back side, and there's just like no room. And like I wrapped it, it looks super nice, but like now it's kind of like an art piece and like I want to put that on the car and I want to put a cam like from Tectonics Tuning on that car as well. Like cams, header, full exhaust, sweet little thing. But man, I just don't, I just don't want to do this. So maybe if I get motivated, we'll toss it on. But if not, what I've been thinking from a long time ago, the BBSs. I had those wheels originally done for this car, which I have like the blue center cab and that kind of stuff. I like them on this car. I didn't love them on this car, but I like them on this car. But I think those with that small tire on the mark ii lower it down a little bit more would be perfect and turkey rod run is i think not this weekend but the following weekend i think john's coming down a bunch of the homies coming down and i mean we have this car in the wagon but i kind of want to cruise around in the mark ii with all of them and their older cars so maybe the mark ii on those wheels cruise around chill have a good time maybe if i'm feeling super ambitious just a thought of having to work behind that manifold. I'm already like, I don't want to do it, but maybe. Mm. Mm. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about that. But BBS for sure tested the Mark II. I think I saw a photo of a Mark II on those same wheels, the RC 041s, and it looked so good. So, so good. So I think maybe the BBS is on the Mark II. Before you say Zobbers, the Zobbers are too wide. I'm not going to do it, but I mean, we could do the three spokes. You know what I'm saying? We could do three spokes on the Mark II, be pretty spicy. But no, I think BBS on the Mark II will look pretty good. Now, I'm not one to ask for this often. Actually, I, ne I never ask for this, but if you're one of those people who's always like, where's the Mark II? Where's the Mark II? You better leave a like on this video. I better see everyone down in the comments with something nice to say, because the Mark II's back, okay? That's all I asked for. But get in this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.